Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Under federal law, getting a significant early release or a reduced sentence for good behavior is a bit of a pipe dream for Todd Crisley. As TV shows Ace previously reported, the disgraced reality TV star is in federal prison. Federal law requires him to serve at least 85% of his sentence. Technically, this means there is an early release date option for Todd Crisley, but he will serve the majority of his 12-year sentence because federal law requires him to do so. Still, Crisley knows best fans can't help but wonder, is there an official early release date available for Todd Crisley yet? How much is 85% of his sentencing, and when could he get released? Per public records, the earliest release date for good behavior for Todd Crisley is April 7, 2033. On Reddit, fans were in agreement it was a wild date to look at as it was a little over a decade from now. This means, at minimum, Todd is required to do 10 years and a few months of his 12-year sentence. As TV shows Ace reported back in November, this slightly reduced sentence requires Todd to be a model inmate. Presently, Todd and Julie Chisley have their legal team working to appeal their current situation. As fans know, Todd and Julie never plead guilty or apologized for their crimes. To date, they insist they never committed what they've been accused of. Per the federal judge, it is the lack of guilt that resulted in such harsh sentences. Because Todd and Julie intended to appeal the case, however, they were unable to admit their guilt or apologize for their crimes to get a reduced sentence. Any admittance of guilt would have torpedoed their plans to appeal. Fans of the Chrisley family are all over the place with their thoughts on this situation, but most hope that justice ultimately gets served. Making a guest appearance on Savannah Chrisley's podcast, Nanny Faye reassures that she's feeling great right now. As fans recall, Chase Chrisley took their grandmother to a checkup for her cancer a few weeks ago. Before they even left the doctor's office, Chase took to his Instagram stories to announce that Nanny Faye was cancer-free. Fans rejoiced at the good news, and they praised Chase for being such a good grandson and going with his grandmother to this appointment. Fans learned during the end of the sentencing trial that Julie and Todd Cresley were acting as primary caregivers to Nanny Faye as she struggled with her cancer. Savannah even fessed up during the podcast that this fact was very much true. And Nanny Faye chimed in to praise her precious daughter-in-law Julie for going with her to ever appointment for support before she got locked up. Fortunately, it appears as if Chase stepped into the void his mother going to jail created to do what he could to support Nanny Faye. While talking about how Nanny Faye is doing right now and how supportive Julie Chrisley was, Savannah admits that her grandmother was a real rock star when it came to her cancer treatments. She referred to her grandmother as a champ, as she recalled what Nanny Faye was like in the day or two after getting treatment. Savannah Chrisley and her grandmother are hopeful a new reality TV series is on the horizon for the family. Moreover, they hope for a series that is actually reality as opposed to a comedy that limits their ability to be their true selves. Savannah and Nanny Faye explained that because Chrisley knows best shifted to being a comedy, they were often not allowed to say or do certain things. So the show didn't always feel real even though they enjoyed doing it and spending time together. Nanny Faye reassures her granddaughter and her granddaughter's listeners that she's ready to return to work any day now.